Hi, I'm Callum from Time Valley Motorhomes and today I'll be doing the handover demonstration on the Auto Trail V Line 635 Sport. So, as we come down the driver's side of the vehicle, the first point you get to is your mains connectivity point. So, to hook the vehicle up, what you need to do is get your hook up lead, lift the collar, and slide on there. Then, next, always hook the vehicle up first and then the point, and then when you're unhooking, the vehicle up, take the point, then the vehicle as we wouldn't want you walking on the live lead. Next week you've got your wheel external shower, so it is just a cold water feed only, and you'll be able to push the end and pull the stop off. Then you get your shower hose with your external shower trigger going on, and as long as it pumps on, you'll be able to operate your external shower. This is your toilet cassette, so this opens with the round headed key. And you'll be able to, as long as the blade's closed on the inside of the toilet, you'll be able to lift the handle and slide out like so. You've got a handle there to drag the cassette around the site when it's full and heavy. And empty, you take your, your grey cap off, go to your waste disposal point, which will be behind or beside your toilet block. Press the button, tip it out. Once you've tipped it out, you put some water in, give it a rinse, rinse it out and then you can use your cap as a measuring stick and a cap full of liquid into here and then it's good to go back to the vehicle. Or the other option is using the tablets and you put a pint of fresh water back in the cassette and drop the tablet down the toilet. You've got your, your boiler vent there which is your exhaust when it's on as it is there. And then you do have your fresh water drain, so this is any, um, if you want to drain your fresh water, you may have taken on any contaminated water, you want to winterise the vehicle, you'd open your fresh, and you put your waste, so anything you put down a plug hole goes into the waste, and again you drive over a grid with these two and drop the water out on the way out of the site. But your two fridge vents, they've got the covers on there, the winter covers, and as a lot on the back, you've got your high level brake light and bullet style reverse camera in the corner there. And as this is a sport, it's got the, the tailgate. Which lifts up like so. And you've got storage in here. And then you do have your leisure battery in there. And also in here you'll find <laughs> your feet for your table when you want it outside with a bar. So if you want to put your um, round headed table, your boom arm outside and you do have your, your leveling chocks in there as well and a bit of storage for your hookup cable and various other bits. Coming down to the passenger side of the vehicle, you've got your LPG tank, so all V-lines are fitted with a LPG underslung 25 litre tank and you'd go to your local LPG centre Get the LPG filler, put the filler in, turn the front of the filler and pull the trigger on. It looks like a gun, so just pull the trigger on the gun and then press the button on the fuel filling station and it will fill until simply it won't fill anymore and that's when you know it's full. And it normally takes about £15 to fill one of these, so it's not a lot. And then in here you do have your fresh water intake, so you put a hose pipe in there, fill it until it either flows overflows until you're happy you've got enough water on board. On the door itself, you've got an electric folding step. So that will automatically retract with the engine. You've got your light for here, and you do have a fly screen blackout. Fly screen blind there on the cargo door. At the passenger door you've got your lockable diesel cap which opens with the main fade key and below because it's a Euro 6 compliant engine you've got AdBlue solution. So this will come on between the temperature and fuel gauge at around between 5 and 6 hours a mile and then it would just take 20 litres to fill. You can buy this from most petrol stations or you can buy it in the drums from various car parts suppliers and top up. On the door itself you've got your tyre pressure so 5.5 bar all round which is 79.5 psi for your tyres. Your tool kit's underneath here which has got a jack and a brace and torn eye in and your engine battery lives underneath the floor here. On the side of the dashboard is your bonnet release. 
if we just have a quick look at this the bonnet. So first of all, you've got your weight plate, so it's three and a half ton gross vehicle weight. If you were to put a tow bar on and tow with it, the vehicle and whatever you're towing can't exceed six ton. You've got your Grigio aluminium paint color code there. So if you ever need to paint for the vehicle, there's a paint code. Put your oil filler and dipstick, brake fluid. This lifts off and gives access to your coolant and your power steering fluid. But the main one you're going to need is in the corner, which is your screen wash. If you ever needed to jump start the vehicle, you'd earth off this centre here, which is your black lead. And if you just put the key in here and open this cover here, you'd put your red positive lead onto this contact here. And above the TV, so you get your solar panel selector. So this is your regulator charger and you've got a selector here. So you've got at the top is to the vehicle battery, off's in the middle and down is to the leisure battery. So you can isolate a battery and choose which battery you want to send the charge to from the solar panel. And this customer has also opted a My Wi-Fi system 4G. So you turn on here, press and hold to turn on. So to press and hold, you'll be able to turn your Wi-Fi system on. It is just magnetic on the back of here. And then your SIM, so welcome, and it'll tell you how many devices are paired. And then if you just take the back off, so remove the back, remove the battery. So if you just lift the battery out there, your SIM card can go in the back. These do come with a pay-as-you-go SIM card, but they don't have much on them at all. So what I'd advise is that you go to your phone provider and ask, say, that you need a data-only SIM card. They will provide you with one, and you can get a unlimited for about £20 a month on a contract, and then you wouldn't have to top it up every time you use the vehicle. So you won't have to be worried about how much internet you've got left. All your little reader lights underneath are individually switched. And then open your cupboards if you just press the button behind and lift up. And in here you do have your tally booster. So you can max and minimum on your TV booster and you can turn the booster on and off. But that will just go on and off with the main control panel anyway as it's 12 volt. And then to open this skylight what you need to do is push the button and slide. You can slide into the two grooves should it be a nice day. But make sure that the skylight and windows are all securely fastened before you start driving away. And you do have a blackout blind and a fly screen. Got storage along the back. Storage in here. There's nothing. Storage. And then the one above your hob, you do have your microwave isolation plate. So you can isolate your microwave by isolating the plug should there be any problem and then open your windows if you just press the buttons in and turn the toggles you'll to push it out and then turn these black buttons here to keep the window out obviously loosen them and the window will bring in make sure it's on the last catch so pulled right in before you travel you've got a blackout blind on the fly screen they clip together there so to unclip them and then you can and underneath your bench seat behind your fridge on the driver's side you've got your AC176 power supply unit so you've got your black system shutdown button for in the winter to stop any power drain and you've got your heater and charger on 240 which then the heater is controlled from above the door you've got all your 12 volt blade fuses which are all listed here so would we'll carry some spares but just standard blade fuses and then you've got your rcd trip testers and your mcbs you've got your build number here which is your unique number to your vehicle so should you ever need parts quote that number this is your main leisure battery obviously this customer has had a second leisure battery put in his garage area so you've got a 20 amp fuse there and also you'll see the back of your um, 
external barbecue point just here which is located in the garage as well so you can hook your Kadak or your external barbecue up and it will use the gas tank underneath the vehicle. And now to make the beds you'd slide them out so you'd slide both out. But you'll notice in here underneath this one you've got two bars. These bars are for support bars. So what these do is they slide in at the front. So if you lift the seat up this side, you put it in here. So you lift them both up, you'd slide them in there. Slide them in there. And then if you put the back bar in as well for support, so just lift, lift up slightly both seats. Slide it in and then what you do is you pull this one in and that one in the middle. Slide them both together like so and then you'd use the back rests. Push them in the middle to form your large bed. I'd also advise turning the base cushions upside down as well and it gives you a flatter surface. In here you do have your crank handle for your awning. So now in the cab, based on a Fiat Ducato, you do have your handbrake to the right of the driver, which is here. And then on the door you've got your electric windows and electric mirror adjustments which is the top and the blind spot so you can choose your mirror you want to adjust and if you slide this forward you've got your concertina car blinds slide it all the way at the back and then slide this down into the groove for that black sat out and then on the windscreen if you just slide this one up you have your windscreen blackout blind and you've got the same on the passenger window and then down here you've got your headlight adjustment and your rear fogs. This turns your start stop off should you not want it. As on the manuals as soon as you take it out of gear and release the clutch. I just set a traffic light so it'll turn off in the autos if you just put your foot on the brake. But the start stop will only work should it have sufficient charge in the battery. You've got your gas level indicator here when the engine's running that'll show you how much is in the tank. You've got your wipers with your trip computer on the end which goes through the middle miles per gallon range traveling times distance traveled and so on hands free this scrolls through your tracks so either your media your phone contacts and your radio channels you've got your volume and mute lights and indicators cruise control at the top off and speed limiter and then should you have to brake you can reset your cruise control to what you had it set at so you'd get the speed and then push it up to set this has got the 9 speed automatic gearbox which is an option as it normally comes standard as a manual so you've got park, reverse, neutral and drive and then if you go to the left you can put into manual mode and then you've got drive mode, so if you click drive mode, it will come up on the screen, so it'll say PWR, which is power. You've got eco and you've got normal. But I would just leave it in normal, and should you need that extra bit of power, this has got um, what's called kick down on it. So if you just kick your foot down on the, to the floor of the accelerator, it will drop the gear and give you the speed required. ESR off's another word for anti-slip relief, so it's another word for your traction control, really turn it off. You've got your hazards, this locks the doors on a night as it's a van conversion, there's centre locking on all doors and you've got your heated mirrors. USB there for charging and 12 volt, you've got your two big cup holders, your accent unit here so you can turn it on like so. And then if, once your navigation card's in at the top, your navigation will work. You've got your radio. So it's DAB, so you've got your list. And obviously you've got national. Tyne and Weir, which is our regional station, as we're in Newcastle upon Tyne. 
your neat national channels and your BBC national DAB. So you can choose and then you can obviously preset them into here. If not, you can use FM and AM radio on the standard radio. Your Bluetooth, you would go to Bluetooth and then search on your device for XF270, which is the model of head unit yours is by Xcent. Click pair, press pair on the head unit, press pair on your phone. It will then ask you if you want to con sync your contacts, press allow, and then it would sync all your contacts into your phone. And then you do have USBs in the top glove box here. So you can, can connect your media, so it doesn't take a CD, but you can connect a USB or a phone. That's when USB, iPod and Android Link will work. You do have your camera, however. If I start the engine, that's just your step going in. There's your camera on, so it can work as a rear view or when in reverse, it'll come on as well. Temperature on the outside ring. Fan speed on the in must be on at least one or more for the aircon to work. And then you do have your distribution, so where you want to send the air to, and either bringing fresh air in or recirculating air within the vehicle. To turn the seats, you've got two levers here, so you just turn it out and then turn the seat round. Should it get stuck on the door, you would just readjust your driving position by pulling the seat forward, and then you can spin it into the rear of the motorhome. That now brings us on to the end of the handover on the Autotrail V-Line 635 Sport, which is a 2021 model. Should you have any questions, feel free to contact Time Valley Motorhomes on 01207 272 777 or email our sales team at sales at timevalleymotorhomes.co.uk. Thanks for watching the video.